you know, a small handful of you will be able to appreciate the, the uh, length I'm going to, to uh, elucidate and clarify some of this very difficult book for you, and then to read it here, which I'm going to start with right now. Yet, but I'm going to pin my, pin my end first. Okay, let's, let's go up to here. Because after that, it seems like the, the narrative slips into a, a, a mother narrative. All right. Yet, the bumber sprinkler used to boast aloud alone to himself with the hack scent on it when Min Fighter was a boar constructor and Hoy was a lexical student, parole and corrected with the blackboard, <coughs> trying to copy the stage Engelsman he brought to their house down on, shouting, Bravure, sur Cholet, letter perfect, colossal, luce, luce valeur, spache, how he had been towed out of all the Schicker families of the Klondikers from from Pew Pureish, Swab Sprays, the land of Nod, Shrugger's country, Pension Danubier home and Barbaropolis, who had settled and satisfied in the capital city after its hebdomadary metropolarchalization as sun blistered, moon plastered, gory, weed, weedling, jovial, literous, and full, ordered off the gorgeous premises in most cases on account of his smell, which all cookmaids eminently objected to as resembling the bombinable puzzo that welled out of the pazo. Instead of chothering those mo instead of chothering those model households plain wholesome pot hooks as thing he never possessed of his Nigerian own, what do you think Volgariano did but study with stolen fruit how cutely to copy all their various styles of signature so as one day to utter an epical forged check on the public for his own private profit until, as just related, the dustbins united scullery maids and house help sorority, better known as Sluttery's Mouled Foot, turned him down and assisted nature by united shooing, unitedly shooing the source of annoyance out of the place altogether and tay totally on the heat of the moment holding one another's gonk for no one hound or scublity, not even the Turk, ungreekable in person of the armenable, dared with the polecat at close range and making some point of pointing remarks as they done so as to the perfects of the sniffy, your honor, a boon, the lio, why a stunk, mister. Here's a parenthesis. Gimes wishes to hear from wearers of abandoned female costumes. Gratefully received, wadmill jumper, rather full pair of collots and, and authored garmentaries to start city life together. His gimes is out of job, <laughs> would sit and write. He has lately committed one of the then commandments, but she will now assist. Superior built, domestic, regular layer. Also got the boot. He appreciates it. Copies. Abortisement. Unparentheses. One cannot even begin to post figure out a stratesco ante as to how slow in reality the excommunicated drumchondriac Nate Hamas really was. 
who can say how many pseudo-stylic shamiana, how few or how many of the most venerated public impostures, how very many piously forged palimpsests slipped in the first place by this morbid process from his plagiarist pen. Be that as it may, but for that light fantastic of his noses glow as it slid luciferously within an inch of its page, he would touch at it from time to time, the red eye of his fear and saddishness, to ensign the colors by the beerlets in his mathness and his educandies to out you to themselves in the cries of girl glee, gumber, inkware, chon chamber, sincero, zinzabar, tincture and gin. Nibs never would have quilled a serif to sheepskin by that rosy lampoon's effluvious burning and with help of the simulchronic flush in his pan, a guinea a gurk he gets there. He scabbled and scratched and scrobbled and screvened nameless shamelessnesses about everybody ever he met, even sharing a precipitation under the idolish terrier's umbrella of a showerproof wall while all over up and down the four margins of his rancid, rancid shem stuff, the evil smeller, who was devoted to Udfader Sardanopolis, used to stipple endlessly in inartistic portraits of himself in the act of reciting old Nitiabeli's monolook in interior rear, Hanno, O oh, Nonano, Axel, Brubblemnaz, Ser, Autore, QED, a heartbreakingly handsome young Paolo with love lyrics for the goy goyles in his aisles, a plaintiff's tanner voice, a ducal incomb of 132 drachmas per yard from Broken Hill Stranded Estate, Camel Breach Mannings, cutting a great dash in a brand new two guinea dress suit and a burled Hogsford hired for a Thursday evening, Mary Potty, and a lovely long pair of inky Italian moose glistering with boric vase line and frangipani. Puh! How unwhisperably so! The house, O oh Shia, or O oh Shame, Quivapieno, known as the Haunted Ink Bottle, No Number, Brimstone Walk, Asia in Ireland, as it was infested with the raps, with his pen name, Shut, Seppi scraped on the door plate, and a blind of black sailcloth over its wan fwingshog, in which the soul-contracted son of the secret cell groped through life at the expense of the taxpayers, dejected into day and night with Jesuit bark and bitter bite, calicohydrants of zulfur and scapulamina by full and forty quisicianos every day and everyone's way, more exceeding and violent abuse of self and others was the worst it is hoped, even in our Western playboyish world, for pure mouse, farth, mouse farm filth. You brag of your brass castle of your... You brag of your brass castle of your tiled house in Bally, Vermont? Nigs, nigs, and nigs again. For this was a stinksome ink and stink, quite puzzinal to the rottle. Smatter of fact, angles aftanon, browsing there, thought not a damn reeked more rare. My wood, 
the warped flooring of the, the lair and sound conducting walls thereof, to say nothing of the uprights and imposts, were Persianly literatured with bursts, love letters, telltale stories, sticky back snaps, doubtful eggshells, bouchers, flints, borers, puffers, amygdaloid almonds, rindless raisins, alphabetiformed verbiage, biblical viases, ompeter dictas, vices umbicae, ahems and ahas, ineffable tries at speech unassailabled, you omies, I old hymns, flu foul smut, fallen lucifers, vestas which had served, showered ornaments, borrowed brogues, reversible jackets, black eye lenses, family jars, false hair shirts, godforsaken scapulars, never worn breeches, cutthroat ties, counterfeit franks, best intentions, curried notes, upset Latin tin tacks, unused mill and stumpling stones, twisted quills, painful digests, magnifying wine glasses, solid objects cast at, at goblins, once current puns, squashed quotatoes, sorry, quashed quotatoes, messes of mottage, unquestionable issue papers, seedy ejaculations, limerick dams, crocodile tears, spills ink, blasphematory spits, stale chestnuts, schoolgirls, young ladies, milkmaids, washerwomen's, shopper keepers wives, merry widows, ex nuns, vice abbesses, pro virgins, super whores, silent sisters, Charlie's aunts, grandmothers, mothers in laws, foster mothers, godmothers, garters, trees clippings from right, lift and centrum, worms of snot, toothsome pickings, cans of Swiss condensed bilk, highbrow lotions, kisses from the antipodes, presents from pickpockets, borrow, borrowed plumes, relaxable hand grips, princess promises, lees of wine, deoxidized carbons, convertible collars, devilioker doffers, broken broken wafers, unloosed shoe latchets, crooked straight waistcoats, fresh horrors from Hades, globules of mercury, undeleted gleet, glass eyes for an eye, gloss teeth for a tooth, war moans, special sighs, <laughs> long sufferings of long standing, Oz, O's, Wees, C's, Yas, Yos, Gias, Nays, Thaws, So's, Yeses, and Yeses, and Yeses, to which of one has the stomach to add the breakages, upheavals, distortions, inversions of all this chambermaid music one stands, given a grain of goodwill, a fair chance of actually seeing the whirling dervish, tumult, son of thunder, self-exiled, in upon his ego, a night long, a shaking, betwixt tween white or redder horrors, noonday terrorized skin and bone by an ineluctable phantom. May the shaper have mercury on him, writing the mystery of himself in furniture. Of course, our low hero was a self valeer by choice of need, so up he got up whatever is meant by a Stourbridge clay kitchenette and Lither Gargalinu foul house for the sake of aches. The umple does not fall very far from the dumper tree, which 
the poro melodious jigsmith in defiance of the uncontrollable birth preservation game and poultry act playing lallery rook cookery nook by the dodginess of his lantern brewed and cocked and potched in an athenor whites and yolks and yolks and quotes to the fruling fredonance of Mas Blanca, que la Blanca, Hermana, and Armaria, muy bien, which, with cinnamon and locusts and wild beeswax and licorice and carrageen moss and blaster of berries and athermes and huster's mixture and yellowman's embrocation and pinking tones, paddy and stardust and sinner's tear a curedant to Sheridan's art of panning, chanting for all regale to the like of the legs he left behind with Liddy Fun, Letty Fan Levin, his can traps of fermented words, abracadabra, calubra, calorum, his aus a la Madame Gabrielle de la Eglise. He avgs ama mistress b d b meinfeld his ayers asquel mala a la pom de ciel his we wive ove and uve a la sulfate de sude his ocuri saute salmone. <laughs> Alla Monsignor, his soufflosion of oogs with some cat on toyast, a la mer puard, his pogodovis a la fenella, his fridegs a la tricarem, in what was meant for a closet. Ah, oh, if only he had listened better to the four masters that infanted him, Father Matthew, Matthew, and La Pierre Noble and Pastor Lucas and Padre Aguilar, not forgetting lay teacher Baldwin. Ah, oh, his costive Satan's antimonian manganese limo, limo litmeous nature never needed such an alcove so. When robber and mumsel, the pulpic dictators on the nudgment of their legal advisers, Messrs. Codex and Podex, and under his own benefiction of their pastor, Father Flamius Falconer, boycotted him of all mutton suit candles and Roma ruled stationery for any purpose. He winged away on a wild goop's chase across the cathartic ocean and made synthetic ink and sensitive paper for his own end out of his wit's waste. You ask in Sam Hill, how? Let manner and matter of this, for these are spotting times, be cloaked up in the language of Blushfeld's porporates, that an Anglican ordinal, not reading his own rude Dunsky Tunga, may ever behold the brand of scarlet on the brow of her of Babylon, and feel not the pink one in his own damned cheek. Thank you for listening to Rhythm's Riddle. Once again, please subscribe and wax prolific with your comments.